Hi everybody, my name is Sheridan and I work at the Long Beach Public Library. I'm here today to show you how to make three different popsicles that you can make from home to keep you cool all summer long. If you haven't signed up for summer reading just yet, go to longbeach.beanstack.org and register for our teen reading challenge. Uh, if you've already signed up, go to the activities tab and enter the code SUMMER to be able to earn points for watching this video, okay? The first thing I'm gonna show you how to make is a frozen banana and cereal popsicle that ends up looking something like this. I use fruity pebbles, but you can use whatever you've got on hand, okay? So I'll show you how to make this first. You're gonna need a banana. So you wanna peel this bad boy, and what you're gonna do is once you've got it all peeled, you're gonna cut it in half. So I'll sort of take a knife and just slice it right down the middle there. And then I'm using today some uh, straws, but you can use a chopstick or even a popsicle stick if you have any of those at home. Um, and you just kind of want to put the straw carefully down the length of the banana, but don't come out the other end just like I did. And you've got the sort of beginning of the popsicle. The next thing you're going to do is take some yogurt. Um, I'm going to use this blueberry yogurt. And with a spoon, take some of the yogurt, stir it around a little bit, and you're going to coat the banana with the yogurt. This takes a little practice, it takes a little while, you might get it, you might make a little bit of a mess. That's okay, because you're gonna clean it up too, right? And you're just gonna, you know, put some yogurt on the banana. You want to get a pretty good even coating because the yogurt is what's going to make the, um, the cereal stick to the banana. And so just do your best, you know, get a good coat of yogurt on it. Down the length of the banana there. Got that there. Cool. I'm going to get a Tupperware and some cereal. And so I'm using Fruity Pebbles, but you can use Cocoa Pebbles. Or if you have larger cereal bits, you can also break them down with like the end of the spoon, you know, and just kind of make them smaller so that you can use them to coat the banana. Then what you're gonna do is kind of just dust these over. You wanna do this over a bowl or over a Tupperware like this so that you don't get cereal everywhere. And you kind of just keep working on it until you end up with a banana that's coated in cereal. You can even just kind of put them in the bottom and roll it around a little bit so that you end up with a nice popsicle that's covered in cereal. Once you do that, you put this on a, on a plate or a tray and you throw that in the freezer, let it sit for a little while, and you're gonna end up with a nice cool uh, frozen banana cereal popsicle, okay? If you wanna get creative too, you can also use, uh, for example, things like chocolate syrup on it, and then that way you've got a nice chocolatey, you know, popsicle, or uh, you can also use chocolate cereal or even peanut butter, really kind of whatever you want to do, you can do it, okay? So that's kind of how you make the first one. The second one that we're going to make is you're going to need uh, some little Dixie cups like this, unless you happen to have uh, a popsicle maker, you know, one of those molds at home, but a Dixie cup will work just fine. And so what we're going to do with this one is we are going to layer in yogurt and fruit. So you'll see that I've got some yogurt in here. You can do flavored yogurt or you can do plain yogurt like I've got here, um, really whatever you want. And you're gonna put in a little bit of yogurt. And then here I've got some blackberries. And you're gonna put in a few of those and then using the spoon, you're gonna smash them up so that they release the juice and they break down a little bit. And then that way what that's gonna do is it's gonna color your popsicle. And you just kinda keep putting in yogurt and some blackberries and just kind of layer them on top of each other. And so you just keep smashing them a little bit and stirring it around and putting in some more yogurt until so you've got the Dixie cup, you know, pretty close to full. You want to smack it on the table a couple times to make all the ingredients settle. And then I'm going to use these straws, I'm going to cut them in half to be able to make popsicle sticks. You can also use chopsticks or, um, you know, if you've got popsicle sticks, you can even use a plastic spoon and just kind of stick it in there. And then that way, when it freezes around the spoon, you've got a nice handle for the popsicle. I'm going to put this in there. 
and then you want to put this bad boy in the freezer. I made one earlier, and so I'm going to unwrap it now. You can just once they're frozen, you can actually just take off the the you know rip off the cup, and you've got a pretty cool little popsicle. This one I made with plain yogurt and some blackberries. So as you can see, there's some blackberries in there and some yogurt on the outside, and it's good to go. You can even throw in some honey in there too to add some sweetness if you like. And it's a lot healthier than a regular popsicle, you know? So we've got that. And the last one I'm gonna show you how to make is a cucumber and tajin popsicle. And this reminds me of when I was a little boy and the paletero would come and he always had paletas de pepino, which is, you know, cucumber popsicles um, that were a little bit spicy. So for this one, what I did is I made a cucumber and lime uh, mixture. What I did is I took two cucumbers and I peeled them, cut them in half lengthwise, and took out all the seeds with a spoon. I put those in a blender along with the juice of four limes and a couple of tablespoons of agave nectar, or you can also use simple syrup. And I blended it up, and then that is this. So this is gonna be the base for our popsicles, okay? You're gonna need some of this stuff along with a Dixie cup and a little uh, popsicle stick. This is half a straw that I just cut in half, or you can even use a spoon, okay? So what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna take some cucumber and I'm going to carefully cut it so that I'm taking off the peel. And then you're just gonna dice it into little tiny squares. Doesn't have to be perfect as long as they're tiny, you know? And then that way you can sprinkle them into your paleta and you have little chunks of cucumber in there. Makes it kind of taste better. So as you can see now, I've got some little cucumber squares. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tajin and sprinkle a little bit in the bottom of the cup, or a lot if you like, if you like tajin, you know? And then I'm going to sprinkle some of these cucumber bits in there and kind of mix it around so they get covered in, in the tajin. And then I'm going to pour in this cucumber mixture. And you want to stir this around because it starts to separate. So you may want to just, you know, shake it a little bit. You pour that on top very carefully. And then you can actually even finish off with another little layer of tahini at the bottom to make it nice and spicy once you get to the, the bottom part too. And give it a little stir. Put this popsicle there, stick in there and then you throw this bad boy in the freezer. If you make a bunch of these, you can put them in a tray or in a plate and then put them all in the freezer at the same time, okay? So that's that one. And I made one earlier that's here, but it's been melting a little bit, so you'll see that it pops out and you've got a ooh, cucumber spicy paleta thing, okay? And uh, that's it, thanks for joining me today. Hopefully you can make these and get creative with them too. Um, and you know, they'll help you keep cool all summer long. Join summer reading and earn some prizes and uh, we'll see you around. Okay, take care.